Three-fifths of the five eyes are focusing underwater. The United States can ask for no better partners in the Indo-Pacific where so much of our shared future will be written. The UK, US and Australia announcing details of the so-called AUKUS deal for nuclear-powered submarines, a new technology for the Aussie Navy. The biggest single investment in Australia's defence capability in all of our history. Over the coming two decades, AUKUS will see the trio eventually develop a new sub for the UK and Australia. A driving force is the threat posed by China to Taiwan and in the Indo-Pacific. Beijing says the plan will trigger an arms race. That despite China's President Xi Jinping setting out a vision this week that his military become a, quote, great wall of steel. China also alleges that AUKUS damages nuclear proliferation treaties, a criticism Biden appeared to anticipate. Not nuclear arms subs, they're nuclear power, not nuclear arms. That technology allows subs to stay underwater and ideally undetected for much longer periods. Such capability would be useful in the Arctic for the trio's Five Eyes Security Alliance partner, Canada. Back when Canada was exploring the idea of having nuclear submarines in the 1980s, uh, the Americans were actually quite uh, reluctant to pass on that technology even to us. Cost was and is a factor for Ottawa too. Australia is committing more than $300 billion over 30 years. I don't really see much of an appetite to include us at some point along the way to, you know, have ourselves insert, you know, yet another order of submarines into that very, very tight build schedule. When asked about any potential Canadian involvement, a spokesperson for the Minister of National Defence told Global News that Canada is investing tens of billions in domestic defence programmes and half a billion dollars in defence initiatives in the Indo-Pacific region. He added that the minister is in close and frequent contact with Canada's Five Eyes partners. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.